guys. Cory, Cory, make a video. Let's make a video. Uh, so we better check this out. Um, no, I'm not gonna forget my glasses. Fucking thing. So I'm very excited right now. Um, just pop up a notification, and then uh, yeah, let's check this out. So excited again. So I did I like whispering, you know. Uh, my, flag, my family is here actually, and they are asleep right now. So okay, that's ready. Let's go. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you know that phrase, there's an elephant in the room? It's like 12 elephants. I'll start with what might be the biggest elephant in the room. The samurai hit 10 million! Samurai hit 10 million subscribers. Last video I uploaded with celebration of 9 million, saying all this stuff. Well, we got so many memories to make. Uh, we still got time. And then I never uploaded another video. Oh! Is this not serious? Um... <laughs> I got a package from YouTube that I've been waiting for before I wanted to do this video. Corey, go ahead, give me a little sneak peek. But before all of that, before I do something, I open a package which I don't even deserve. I wanted to speak with you all candidly about my whereabouts and um, some, I guess, my retirement. Now strap in, got a lot to talk about. Your boy hair change, a lot of changes. Tired of walking around with the nappy afro. We done with that, all right? I'm old. <laughs> Yo, it feels good. It feels good sitting in front of the camera. I always feel like, man, it's about to be so awkward, but it's like I sit down and I, I never miss the beat. Some of my family members got COVID. Um, now this happened like months ago. My grandma got COVID. Mm -hmm. It was very, very bad. Not only my grandma, my aunts, my cousins. I actually made a video a couple months ago that I'm very glad that I didn't upload because it was super depressing. I'm just gonna use this video to get my feelings out, um, vent to the camera. Sort of like the old 2015, 2016 YouTube days. All it was was I was talking about COVID. I was talking about my family. I was gonna upload it because I'm like, at least it'll tell them where I'm at. But the video was so depressing. I'm like, someone's gonna watch this video and then their day is gonna get worse. And I never want that to happen. So I never uploaded that video. Fast forward. No, man, it's okay. You can just, you can just see, like, when you, if you post a video like that, it's just okay. It's still, like, we still, like, Cares for you, you know? that's why you... <laughs> that's why we 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 like worry for you. For like another month, I hit 10 million subscribers. Now, my cousin was the first one to let me know because um, I wasn't checking. Last time I saw, I was like at 9.6 million, and I was like, oh shoot, I'm getting close. I need to prepare something, I need to have something ready because this is a moment in the making years in the making and before i knew it my cousin called me so excited about how i hit it like a moment that i was dreaming about is finally here and my grandmother is in the hospital about to pass away there's such a minuscule amount of youtubers that ever reach 10 million and here i was one of the chosen few sitting here in my car that's where i was i didn't want to go on social media i i really despise going on social media when i'm not working because there's a lot of people asking where i'm at conspiracy videos where's corey kenshin i hate those videos i hate them so much mike has sent this to corey's kenshin yt which oh, is Corey. okay i I watch this video and it's actually <laughs> I, I actually a little bit like a little bit of cool belief but <laughs> but uh, but it, when I look it back it was fake damn 
Why, why people Kenshin's Gmail. And surprisingly, Corey's Kenshin did respond to Mike. No, I didn't respond to your email, Mike. <laughs> and some of y'all suckers actually believed it. Video's got like 400k views because of a fake email. He spelled August wrong. There's no E in August. Don't believe any other YouTubers talking about, I know when Corey Kenshin is coming back. They don't know when I'm coming back. Because I don't know when I'm coming back. <laughs> Wait for the source. I am the source. Even a freaking yeah, video nice. talking about I worship the devil because I had a red t-shirt on. Your boy, Curry Kitchen. Curry Kitchen. You know, obviously he has a Coca-Cola <laughs> shirt on. Wait, what? And about I worship the devil because I had a red t-shirt on. Your boy, Curry Kitchen. Curry Kitchen. You know, obviously he has a Coca-Cola <laughs> shirt on, right? And if y'all remember my video, Curry Kitchen. I explained, you know, how satanic that symbol is. <laughs> Worship the devil! Those people that believed it! In all the breaks that I've taken, <laughs> uh, I gotta hand it to you, first of all. The samurai is probably the most diehard loyal community on this website. Because um, I don't know no other YouTubers that can leave and come back the way that I do for as long as I do and to gain a million subscribers while I'm gone. Probably like PewDiePie, is, you know, he could do it, you know. <laughs> but like, besides that, I don't know. So I got to hand it to you. Um, but what I've done is create a divide in my subscriber base, in my community. You know, we got the people that, no matter what, die hard. Don't, Don't talk, talk about, about the Shogun, Shogun like that. that. I'll come to your house. And then we got the people that have seen the fall from glory, the fall from grace. Um, I was here when Corey was really about this YouTube stuff. I saw the effort that this man actually would put in. I saw the work and the, the talent and the charisma and the essence of what that man used to be now sure you know i've come back from breaks and i've dropped bangers obviously but i've never resumed the the magic magic is simply the byproduct of doing something that you love to do unconditionally for example for me that's video games when you're doing something that you love to do doing something that no one has to tell you to do something that you're you don't feel forced to do you reach this almost zen like state of kind of like ultra instinct you just moving autonomously the magic has been gone and i think i realized that a while ago which is why at seven million subscribers I made the dumb idea of, or I had the dumb idea of announcing that I was going to retire at 10 million. Mm -hmm. I say it's dumb because all that it, that that really did, I feel, was put a lot of panic in my community. Um, I feel like it kind of made it happen faster. If okay, this is actually true. Uh, when he announced, when he announced it, uh, seven, 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 uh, when he said that, they actually grew faster. So that's really weird how that works too. But that makes sense. And um, yeah, there was really no, I mean, I thought about it at that point, but I should have thought about it even more. And if I did, I would have come to the conclusion. You probably don't want to say anything until you make, until it's happening, you know? And, and then I wrestle like, well, you don't want to surprise people like that, but I don't know. I just feel like it, it created a lot of panic, and um, if I could redo that, I wouldn't have announced my retirement at seven million. But that is the next biggest elephant in the room.
I told you guys that I had other stuff that I wanted to do with my life, you know, go back to school and, um, oh. you know, start a family, which I guess, like, isn't mutually exclusive from making YouTube videos. I, I always just thought it would be super hard to do. And, um, shoot, I'm <laughs> clearly complacent as it is where I'm at now. So add a family on top of that. And, and I always thought, like, nah, I'll, I'll probably be done by that time. It's hard to do YouTube like really do youtube and do like other stuff which is why like i have a lot of breaks because while i can do youtube and, and do other things um a sharp decline of quality would be ever present in those videos retirement to me is scary because i know that there are some detractors that believe me doing youtube is only because of money money being my biggest motivator for coming back when i do and i don't need money okay so when i was just starting youtube right, and peace too right, um i think money is not the problem okay it's not the the first motivation it's not i think it's what the fun making videos it was the fun of making videos is it's more making a fun thing on youtube not not just the money or anything i think the 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 fun and people commenting and uh, you're doing great and everything is the is the, the best thing ever that i ever seen or saw on when i started this channel and he started the channel too yeah okay just continue that. anymore money is zero number zero motivator for me making videos true, true. um true. but i was scared for different reasons i felt that god had given me such a gift of this channel true. of this community yeah. Who am I to just put that down and say, eh, I'm done with that. How do you, how do you walk away from a blessing? Because that's what you guys are, 100%, hands down. Even the haters, even the people that talk junk, even everybody um, you, that has anything negative to say. You all are a blessing. And how... Could I reconcile walking away from that? I'm a gamer through and through. It just makes sense for me to have this kind of career. So if it's a blessing and I'm good at it. Okay, I, put, uh, I just want to say that Kalau kau tak realize that they're actually switching switching shirts switching shirts to yellow to black and to black and to black I think Corey is trying to make him try to make a like a conversation with himself. Like when he said this and then he answered this and then and then the answer got a question, the question got an answer. So it's actually kinda of cool that how you make it how you make this. Yeah, damn. It's really fascinating. Through and through, it just makes sense for me to have this kind of career. So if it's a blessing, and I'm good at it, and I'm a gamer through and through, what is the cause for retirement? Why is that even something that I consider? What, because I get tired of doing it sometimes? And this is me, you know, going back and forth with myself. I posited that if it was something that i really love to do why do i put it down so much my dad works for ford and what his job is is figuring out solutions to various problems that arise in the plant and my dad likes that job because he said it challenges his mind he it's not just brainless grunt work where he's pressing a button and a conveyor belt. Sometimes the solutions can be very complex, could take hours to, to fix this one singular problem. Now, stretch that out for about 20 years. OK, 
okay? And my dad isn't so fond of his job at Ford anymore. He's just not in a position to put it down whenever he feels like it. That's all the difference. Now clearly I've taken that idea and run with it to the most extreme. I mean, when you are doing something and then you put it down for nine months, for four months, three months, five months, there's something fundamentally wrong. And I think I figured out what that is. A lack of challenge a lack of mental stimulation beyond what's normal. I mean, it's evident in all the games that I play. What do I do? Automatically put it on the hardest difficulty. Never played the game in my life, but I need it to be on the hardest difficulty. I feel like I'm talking a lot. I know what I want. So, yeah, it's kind of true that Cody seems the same about challenge. Uh, sometimes in sometimes in life you need to challenge yourself to do something. Uh, like do, doing the stuff that you really interested. You need to challenge yourself to do it. That's why. That's why Corey always take breaks and uh, this uh, when before he. Leave, he take a break for nine months, five months, or anything. There's clearly, I, I actually don't see the, the, the challenge of that. So that's why he actually said, he, yeah, he, he really talks a lot of stuff that he's done in this video. Yeah. Automatically put it on the hardest difficulty. Never played the game in my life, but I need it to be on the hardest difficulty. I feel like I'm talking a lot. It's okay. I know what I want to say. And what I want to say is that there's no possible way that I can retire. And um, <laughs> while I'm sure that's Okay, I need to hear that again. There's no possible way that I can retire. Corey, it's not retiring. Corey is not retiring. Okay. This is a huge news for me. My God. <sighs> okay, you know what? We just gotta start the video again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And um, while I'm sure that's great news to some people, it kind of feels yeah. like I'm playing with the feelings of other people. That's like, yo, you had us thinking you were gonna retire this whole time. And now you're saying that you're not. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be on another break in two months. I entertain that thought too. I'm like, dude, you, you, you can't just come back and be like, ah, I'm not retiring. Because that's insensitive. You had these people thinking since 7 million that you were going to do that. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm thinking like, no, now I have to do it. Now I'm locked into a choice. But uh, you're never locked into anything. True, yes. Uh, I don't want to see that. Except child support. You never want to uh, do something because you feel like you forced into it. I want to continue to be a positive influence over the young people that watch me. So something that I was thinking about was making a new channel. And I'm like, you, you really about to do this all over again, Corey? You really about to start from scratch? But I kind of want to. So I'm issuing a challenge to myself. Uh, so that I can make sure that things stay interesting. For yourself. Number one. Go back to school. Number two. Continue doing YouTube while I'm at school. Number three. Get another channel. Up to 10 million subscribers. And number four. Get the Corey Kenshin channel to 25 million subscribers this should keep me extremely busy but it's very important
it's very God. important that I, I just don't plateau, you know, that I don't relax and I, I reach, I got my diamond play button. There's nothing else for me to do, you know, because there's, there's always something to do. You just have to challenge yourself. You just have to think outside the box. You just can't get complacent like I have been these past years. Things we could do with our time if we used it properly. Let's get to the play button. I, uh, I did redo my office. Got a couple displays over there. Not sponsored, even though they keep asking me to make sponsored videos. Oh, by the way, this is a new Detroit hat because um, my other one has some miles on it. Check this one out. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me show you. <laughs> Can you see it? I'm not going to hold you. This thing is heavy. My mom always says the heavier it is, the more expensive it is. And I'm inclined to agree with that. You see, because this wasn't expensive in the currency that you might be thinking of. Money. No. This, my people. This was expensive in the most precious form of currency. Time. This took me over 10 years to get and if we're all being honest like i said earlier i don't even feel like i deserve it but god blesses us in ways that we don't understand nor deserve so <coughs> uh, thank you so let me get this open here Ooh, whee! yes sir yes sir yo it is a freaking suitcase. Yeah. Briefcase. Case. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, all right. Everybody relax. Calm down. Okay. Susan herself wrote me, CEO of YouTube. Dear Corey Kenshin, at 100,000, we thought, not bad. That's a healthy new channel. At 1 million. We thought, wow, this creator is pretty awesome. Susan, really? You should have came to that conclusion at 50K. But 10 million! At this point, we're actually scratching our heads. How on earth 10 million subscribers isn't just a lot of people. It's more than the entire population of New York City. The fact is, you're no longer just a great channel. You're a movement. Wait, wait. Oh, shit. I said, you're no longer. I'm getting hype. Samurai, stand up! I repeat, stand up! We hope you'll accept this Diamond Creator Award as a token of our appreciation and our respect for what you've accomplished. You amaze us and inspire us every day. True. Keep it coming. Yours sincerely, Susan Wojcicki. <laughs> um, it's been an honor to be able to be on this platform and inspire and um, just create the best content that I can. Uh, thank you for having me, Drew. With exposition out of the way. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. Ah! I gotta see this, man. Uh, you guys. <laughs> This, yo, hold on, hold on one second. I can't, I can't just, I can't just be touching this with my Damn. bare hands. Look. Are you crazy? Get my Swarovski gloves. <laughs> this thing is, this thing oh. is heavy.
Do I wish I have that? It's okay. We gotta work to it. Gonna work until we got that. <sighs> Ten million though. <laughs> I didn't even have a hundred hundred thousand. Damn. But gotta keep trying. I never lose hope. Still do YouTube. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this is a level in my wildest dreams did I ever think I would did I ever think that I would make it here and it's because of you guys praise God man praise so, God so, it looks so shiny giving me you guys Oh, they mess around and gave Corey Kenshin a <laughs> diamond play button. YouTube, do y'all sell cases for this? I'm just supposed to keep this out so it can get scratched up? We need a case for this. Oh, well, I mean. There's that case, but like a display case. Okay. I mean, it sits up nice. Yeah. You see, they got this padding at the bottom, so you could like put it like on a mantle. Oh, look at that diamond play! Put it on like a mantle, something like that. But what the hell, man? nah, I, I need like a like a case for this. No matter where you are in life, you might feel like you wasted too much time, or that it's too late for you to get wherever you're trying to go, accomplish whatever you're trying to accomplish. And that is the worst thing that you could ever possibly do for yourself. Be your biggest critic and your biggest cheerleader. Believe in yourself, have faith, and don't give yourself any limits, because there are none. Look at me, washed up YouTuber. <laughs> Use me as an example. Go back to the video where I'm announcing that I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. And I, I'm at 10 million subscribers. Look at that and, and see that at that time, at that point in time, I had no idea if I could even reach 10,000. And here, God has put in my lap 10 million of you all. There are no limits. I'm not crying, you are crying. Good game. So, it was Corey Kitchen's newest video. Um, I feel so prideful. <laughs> I feel so proud of him. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, I get to watch more, more videos from him. And yeah, my when I do this YouTube thing, a lot, a lot of us <laughs> can't talk today. The hell, a lot of inspiration is from a lot of YouTubers, but mostly it's in this guy. And. I gotta keep working hard on this YouTube and try to get that. <laughs> Not on competition or anything, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like. Comment on what uh, video you guys want me to react to. Uh, if you're new around here, subscribe. Uh, we are near 10 subscribers, not 10 million. 
And yeah, my name is Simon, and thanks for chilling with me. Bye bye.